Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how George Floyd's niece in Houston, she was shot, and this is a sad situation, and this was black-on-black -black crime, more than likely. I'm almost 100% sure it was. Okay, she was sleeping in her bed, minding her own business, only about four years old, four or five years old, and fortunately, she survived, and she survived but she's got had several injuries. She's had uh, she's got a punctured lung and some broken ribs. And I'm we're not sure if this was gang retaliation because because somebody was ripping a drug dealer off or somebody was uh, skimming money from a gang or a burglary ring or a bookie, or if it was just random people for gang initiation shooting into. A house in the projects. The reason that I say this is because in Jackson, Mississippi, that's what happened a few weeks ago. Um, not in a project house, but this lady had just came home from her baby shower. She was sitting in her car talking on her cell phone, and the presents were still in the car, and about four or five people as part of a gang initiation, they just go up to the car and shoot a pregnant woman dead. And this is just sick. And this is not something that's going to be reported heavily on national TV like George Floyd's death was. And George Floyd's death was a disgrace. Derek Chauvin should go to prison for what he did. And he got convicted, as he should have. But this should be reported as well. And it's just a sick, sadistic situation. I mean, there are a lot of parts in the inner city where a lot of African-American parents have to put their kids in bed in a bathtub because that fiberglass in the bathtub is bulletproof. They don't want their children to sleep in beds near drywalls or near windows because those two things are not bulletproof, but fiberglass and bathtubs are. Imagine living a childhood life where you got to sleep in a bathtub because that thing's bulletproof. It's just sick. Anyways, I've already just been want to take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.